Hey, what's up? It's Jack, and welcome to episode 18 of the Road to World Record. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Jack, and welcome to Road to World Record. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Jack, and welcome to Road to World Record episode 18, where I document my progress towards breaking the world record and solving as many Rubik's Cubes blindfolded as possible within one hour, but accurately. So, as you saw last week, um, there was a bit of a tough week. Um, just kind of spammed a couple of 24 cube attempts just to work up to my goal of about 38 cubes by around the end of January where I have my next competition with multi-blind um, but aside from I guess trading my mental toughness and not giving up until my unless my house burns down on fire yeah it, was just, it didn't go too well aside from that so I decided to kind of scale back and maybe kind of build up uh, my attempt over the week so start off with some 8 cube attempts and 16 and go back to 24 so going back to the 8 cube attempts, they honestly weren't too great. Um, first attempt I did, um, I actually did kind of Graham Sagan style, so I cut out an extra review, just did uh, maybe 1 to 8, then review 1 to 8, just for the fun of it. Um, I was also inspired by Ro Hessler, who um, a few months ago was attempting, I think around the same amount of cubes as me for multi-blind. Um, but now I saw he recently did like a 30 out of 40, like barely sub hour, so I was just like, damn, you improved so quickly. Um, so I kind of tried that just for fun. I don't think I was in a really good mood that day or something because I was really unfocused. Um, but yeah, I kind of forgot everything at the beginning, so that was great. I might try it again in the future, but um, I think I want to stick with what I have for now because I've worked pretty hard on it. Anyway, next uh, few attempts with eight cubes, I just yeah, did what I usually do. Didn't go... Memory was pretty solid, like even though I felt like... I don't know, mentally I wasn't really fully into it. I had like very low like seven memo. Um, but execution, yeah, wasn't as good for some reason because I just wasn't really feeling great. But like as always, like the whole not giving up thing kind of comes back to the fact that in competitions I generally only have you know one attempt, and whether I feel crap or great, or whether it's at like I know the morning or like midnight, if yeah, a competition ever holds multi blind at midnight, like I just have to perform my best no matter what. So it's worth trading in such a way. So those didn't go too great. But yeah, I kind of feel like my brain kind of approaches like small attempts differently because it kind of like, it knows I only have to focus for a short period of time whereas, whereas, it, whereas it's a, if it's a bit longer, I don't know, it kind of feels different. So I think that was worthwhile to do. So even though the eight cube attempts didn't go too well, I ran up to 16 kind of shortly after. And those went kind of meh. Like I think they were actually a bit worse than my 16 cube attempts from like two weeks ago. But yeah, it seemed like I could still get around similar times compared to that even though they were a bit worse for some reason. So I just did some, I think two 16 cube attempts and I was like, okay, I'll just go up to 24 again and see if that helped out. Memo for the 24 cube attempts seemed a bit faster, I think by a couple of minutes. But um, once again, there's still kind of holes in my memo, like ultimately when I start executing the cubes, um, I can al already kind of feel them kind of like expanding out these holes in my memo, like throughout each of the reviews. Um, Cause I have to check the cubes so often. Like I know like, People like uh, Ro Hessler do that quite a lot and they're quite successful with it, but um, I don't know, I feel like for me, like, I, have, I feel like I have to train myself to like recall them without looking or else I just, everything just kind of flies out of my mind. So I wrote down a note on like one of my multiple attempts because I thought of some like random analogy and I think I talked about how like, memo was like me kind of maybe creating some kind of computer software and throughout each review, I'm kind of like upgrading and maybe fixing some like bugs or something throughout the way. But if I don't do that properly, then during execution, perhaps the program that I run kind of just like crashes midway through because I'm missing a letter pair or something. Um, I don't know, I have to restart and skip it. And I don't know, just thinking of it that way, I just kind of thought that was interesting. So I thought I'd just point that out. But yeah, they just kind of went mediocre. I think I just did two of them. Then just for the lols, I went back to 8 cubes um, at the very end to see if anything really changed at the end of the week. And I actually managed to memo the thing in like barely above 6 minutes, like 6 minutes and 2 seconds, which is like fastest 8 pack I've done by like a whole minute. So I was just like, okay, that's pretty nice. And final time was like a bit over 9 minutes, so that was like really solid for me. Um, 7 out of 8, so I just barely missed off the last cube. I don't know how I did so, um, but that was really good, yeah. Here next week, um, since both of these weeks um, where I've tried to you know bypass the 24 cube barrier um, weren't too successful but I'm still getting something out of them uh, I'm just gonna try something else again and just kind of maybe mix up the uh, 8, 16, 24 cube terms a bit more and I also want to try maybe 20 cube attempts as well because um, I think it's mainly the 16 to 24 that's like screwing with me so I'm thinking doing something in the middle might help with that make a bit more of a bridge but yeah that and mixing things up attempt Mixing things up is what I'm going to try aim for next week. 
yeah, this is the last episode of the year and the decade, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Anyhow, yeah, question of the week is, what is your New Year's resolution for cubing? Um, let me know in the comments below. Don't even need to be cubing, it could be life, I don't really mind, whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's it, see you next decade. Um, bye. Okay, so I'm in the middle of editing the video right now, as you can see, and I just want to make a clarification to that question at the end that I ask. Um, don't wait till New Year's Day to make like your resolution or whatever. Um, it should just be whatever the whole of the date is right now resolution, because I mean like, if I waited till like New Year's Day to start this whole like World Tour record, World Tour record thing, then um, like look at all the progress I would have missed out on. So um, yeah, don't wait. Um, if it's past New Year's Day, um, I'm releasing this on New Year's Eve. Uh, so if you're watching this like right now, I guess New Year's Eve resolution should really be the thing, but I um, just want to make it extra clear. Um, don't wait till it's like, you know, some arbitrary date to start your um, dank ambition. Yeah, bye.